scientists collaborating on a new system that could be life-changing for some. Garden in Poznan is taking part in a unique innovation project called Incension. It's aiming to transform the lives of individuals with profound intellectual and multiple disabilities by using an advancing technology like the Internet of Things and artificial intelligence to give them a new way of communicating what they need. We went to meet the people behind the technology for this European research project and speak to those who hope to benefit from it. For Justina, caring for her eight-year-old son, Jeremy, can be challenging. He has multiple learning disabilities. It's more tiring than doing something for me. It's not so tiring to feed him, to change his clothes or whatever, but be all the time like, how are you? What's about your head? Do you need anything? And now this new technology could provide Justina with the extra support she needs, whilst giving Jeremy more autonomy too. So how does it work? It involves participants with disabilities, including Jeremy being filmed whilst at their kindergarten where the technology is being tested. The video footage and audio data gathered creates a database for the artificial intelligence to build on. The camera looks at the person with disability, right? And then this artificial intelligence component, this, co this software components can identify this person. They monitor the, uh, the hands, arms, and the whole body, so for the gestures. And also they look at the, these little dots or the points on the face, which, uh, which are monitored and which, which uh, uh, are uh, indication of specific facial expression. The system logs what it understands to be significant gestures and what they mean. The plan is for it to then communicate the interpretation to a carer. The director of the kindergarten says it will enable them to respond faster to the children in their care. So when we work with a new child with complex troubles, let's say with uh, some uh, really uh, profound impairments, um, we are not sure what we see, so we are not sure what uh, the child wants or what, what can we do for him or she. And the technology can help us to understand the person. Participating in the project enables Justina to see how the system is progressing and is looking forward to the day it can be widely used. It takes three months to prepare somebody uh, that this person will stay at home alone with the enemy. If it's possible to make it uh, to understand him without my help, without so many hours of explaining, of showing, it, it would be great, really. Although the technology is still in its early stages, those behind it hope it will be available to all in the near future, helping parents, carers and children like Jeremy to lead a more independent life.